It's time for real trash. Oh, look at the foliage. This is my older brother Dale and my sister Pam. My name is Steve. Hi, Steve. We all live on a farm in Wisconsin. Oh. If you've never lived on a farm, you might wonder what it's like. And that's the reason for my story. A story about autumn on the farm. A tale of getting up at five to do chores so you can go to school, so you can come home to do chores before dinner, <laughs> so you can get to bed early because you got to get up at five to do chores. And those leaves are going to fall and you kids are going to have to rake them, but that's during your free time. It was raining while we were in school today, but now the sun has come out. So we're sweating like hell. And that's important to us because autumn is a time of year. Then we take the tractor out in the field and pick the corn. Ah, the The bus can't go under 50! (laughs) Home already. (laughs) (laughs) Wow, they have a grammar school volunteer fire department. We honor our first grade responders. That was only an hour commute. <laughs> oh, I bet my Instagram is blown up with likes for this outfit. See, get out of the water. You'll ruin your rain boots. Hi, Mom, no homework. Hi, Mom, no homework. Hi, Mom, no homework. <laughs> Shouldn't that freezer be out on the lawn? I can't get mine out. Hey. <laughs> You're hard. Ugh. Ah, Stinkfoot Steve. Hi, Mom. Hi, Sam. What you doing? Making strawberry jam. Mmm, looks good. I hope it is. Me too. Ah, oh, the smell is leaping off the screen. <coughs> Where's Dad? Hi, Steve. He's out in the field. Picking corn? No, it's too wet. It rained today. We are ruined. You get out of there. What you eat now, you won't get this winter. Ah, confusing Midwestern humor. I know. Is it funny? <laughs> or are you mad? <laughs> Father wants to pick the corn so the cows can have food to eat. Oh, corn on the cob and tater tot hot dish. That would be a roll, roll cut. It looks like the fields are still too muddy. A tractor can't move through muddy fields like these. Wait, that's not mud! (laughs) When you live on a farm, you have chores to do all year long. Yuck! In autumn, we get ready for winter by putting up storm windows. While I'm helping Grandpa, Pam and Dale are feeding the young calves. And it's a really good thing they like kitty litter. Looks like we're running out of food for the cows. There's strawberry jam. (laughs) It's sort of time for dinner. (laughs) Hey, hey, don't leave us. Go back. The autumn days are getting shorter and shorter. Now it's almost dark when we go to supper. Last one in has to sit by Grandpa. Ironically, they do not eat farm to table. Hmm. Not much corn left to feed the cows out in the bin anymore. How do the fields look? Should be able to pick the corn soon? Oh, too, too wet. wet. That sure doesn't sound good. If we wait too long for the fields to dry, milk will come and ruin the whole crop. Then the cows wouldn't have any food for winter. Say, kids, guess what I saw today in the woods? A deer. Why don't you go out tomorrow and see if you can find it? I think it's the same one we saw last spring. Is this, is this 
Grandpa nuts a deer? It's Wisconsin. The school bus hits one every day. <laughs> At least. My toupee! In the morning, Pam and Dale are going into the woods to look for some of the animals that Grandpa saw. Hey, I'm with you. Smoke them if you got them. <laughs> you gotta get off the property. The woods sure look different in autumn. Even the animals aren't quite the same. Poor Steve has to stay in and narrate while his brother and sister go out to play. The woodchuck looks a little fatter. It's the donuts in the break room. What's that over there? It's a woodchuck. And I'm not telling you how much I would chuck if I could chuck. Wood. Look at this, a raccoon. Yeah. Oh, where? Oh, me. Let's see if we can catch up. Mary Jo, why is there a raccoon in the woods? Don't they live in garbage cans? And, and besides, don't they work nights? Yeah. They don't know what they're talking about. Look, I don't want to have to scratch you kids, but I will. Have you seen the needle for a rabies shot? The raccoon has grown a heavy winter coat that will help it keep warm through the long <laughs> He is letting them have it. <laughs> the rabbit will be running in and out all winter long. Hmm. But when it comes out of its nest to look for food, it has to be careful or it might become a meal for another animal, like a hawk. I knew I should have taken that left at Albuquerque. Yeah, my brakes are out. <laughs> the rabbit kicked the bucket. The rabbit kicked the bucket. The rabbit kicked the bucket. Kicked the wa- <laughs> <laughs> The deer brought their own guns this hunting season. It is on. Ebna, Ebna, what's going on at the Stevens? You know, I love the farm family shorts more than anybody, but I'm kind of baffled at how little they have to do with actual farming. These could be the ex-urban family in autumn. Right, or or, or, or the weird development behind target family. <laughs> we can see lots of birds flying over the farm heading south. That's our cue, everybody. South is this way. Well, what do the stage directions say? <laughs> But some birds, like the pheasant, will stay with us all winter long. And they never take us out to dinner to thank us for our hospitality. We can find some very beautiful plants in autumn. Like this Phyllis Diller plant. Ha! Whoa, wait, I can't even see him with that camo. The milkweed is full of seeds. Seeds that can be carried for miles by the wind bringing milk to other counties. Oh, man. Is it too late for me to grow up on a farm? Father's going to show me how to use some of the new milking equipment in the barn. We have to milk the cows two times a day, every day of the year. Unless a cow opts out. But I'm busy, because when Dad was my age, he had to milk all the cows by hand. Now most dairy farms have machines, so they can milk more cows and get cleaner milk, too. My milk is spotless. Make your own milk, you think you're so great. Okay, Steve, when you dump this milk into the dumping station here, it circulates around the hose in the bottom here. Hose? Oh, follows this hose up uh-huh. to the bulb in the milk house. Okay, wait. And there it is released by vacuum and what? goes vacuum? out of the bulb and into the cooler. And it's piped right back into the cows. Oh, oh, don't look, Bridget. You know how lactose intolerant you are. After milking all the cows, Dad has to clean all the equipment with soap and water. 
This is easier? Yeah. It's very important that everything be kept clean. So we don't E. coli the whole joint. Maybe that's why you won't let me wash anything. Because I'm pure filth. Here comes a milk truck. It comes here every day to collect the milk. Or kneecap dad if he doesn't make quota. Got it now, Red? Okay, there she goes. Oh, crepes. Accidentally hooked it up to the cooking grease tube. Oh, pretty good. How you like the weather, huh? Yeah, I was. Well, we could use a little more sunshine. Yeah. I guess so. Yeah. Uh, Run short on corn now? Well, yeah. Yeah. We gotta get picking pretty soon. I uh, boys. The, the driver yeah. takes milk to the dairy where it is sold. The money that Dad gets will help to buy food and clothes, yeah. along with supplies to run the farm. Well, I boys. But when you live on a farm, there are some things you just don't have to buy. Like dirt. Like pumpkins to make into a jack o' lantern. No, no, I was minding my own business. Let me say goodbye to my family. <laughs> The pumpkin already has Stockholm Syndrome. The oh, rats, they found us again. Nobody's home. Goodbye. Plan to feed next Well, not to split hairs, but carving pumpkins is not specific to farm families. <gasps> Blasphemer. Heretic. <laughs> Shoot him at Steve! <laughs> gross, 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 gross. Uh, Act normal, be a man, be a man. Uh, my friend. Yep, they're siblings. <laughs> yuck, yuck. Ugh. Look at the bottom stuff. I think my fingers are frozen. Dale, can I see your pumpkin? No. Yeah. Back off, Pam. Maybe eyes, they get up and the nose upside down. Is this for people who didn't know how pumpkins worked? Here's mine. He's got a happy face. He's got some hair. He's got some eyes. <laughs> she just picked its nose. He's a maniac. He was made by a man scientist. Okay, if they had television, they wouldn't have to have these forced interactions with each I other. I know. So sad. <laughs> you know what, though, Mary Jo, if I lived on a farm, I'd want it to be in the city. Sure. Like with an open concept. Sure. <laughs> Ooh, his pumpkin has sound effects. Oh, it looks like the moon is in the seventh house. Yeah, I think so. Mm. Nuh-uh. This had to have been filmed in Minnesota. Wisconsin is a barren wasteland. And I hate the Packers. Well, another night has passed without rain. The cow zombies are circling the house. Dad is taking the tractor out to see if he can pick the corn. Uh, that's the farm equivalent to Dad went out for cigarettes. <laughs> Morning, Grandpa. Good morning. Does that look black enough? Oh, yes. You children, hurry up. It's about time for the school bus. Not so fast, Pam. There's lots of dishes that need to be done. Bye, Grandpa. Bye. Bye Grandpa. Not Bye. Grandpa. Bye. I don't buy it. You wear your clothes now. It's getting colder. Oh, they didn't even sass her or roll their eyes. They're nice kids. She hoped that Dad can pick the corn before it rains again. If we're lucky, the corn will be half picked by the time we get home from school tonight. <laughs> didn't put on my winter coat! Ha! They bus in Catholics to the Lutheran side of town. <laughs> Gosh, school bus technology really hasn't changed much in the last 40 years, has it? That's a good observation, Bridget. Thank you. Hey, Pam, Dad's picking the corn. Wait, what a gossip. <laughs> Looks like he's just driving over it anyway. Watch. <laughs> before all the corn is picked. Soon snow will cover the empty fields, leaving only a memory of autumn on the farm. No. no, that can't be all. Please let there be a farm family in the dog days of summer. Yeah, yeah, or a farm family in that weird February week in Minnesota that feels like spring. And how come Pam doesn't get to narrate anything? I know, and who is that? Grandpa. Grandpa. It's time for real trash, trash, trash. Copyright by Rift Tracks. All rights reserved.